Hello everybody, Sandal here. Today we're showing off the hardest obstacle course in Minecraft history. You may ask, how do I know this is the hardest obstacle course in Minecraft history? Well, it's very simple. It's because I'm biased. This is my obstacle course. Why would I call, why would I not call it the hardest obstacle course in history? I spent so much time on it. And the second reason is because I had over 30 people try out this course and not one of them have been in this course. This video is basically a review of the obstacle course. I'll be helping you guys by doing the obstacle course myself and giving you guys tips along the way. We'll be starting off with the easiest one, which is the lava timer. The lava timer is obviously what the name says. You basically have to wait for the, uh, for the lava to go down in uh, 15 seconds. And if you don't do it in time, you will die. But there's actually a tip to this one. You have to make sure you jump at the lowest point of where the lava is. So this one is exactly the lowest point. If you don't, this will happen. Uh, I might have been wrong. That was not the lowest point. But anyways, yeah, if that happens to you, you will lose a lot of health. And losing health is probably the thing you least want to do because one of the courses is the cactus course. And that requires a lot of health. Right now, we have already lost. All right, and we're back here. <sighs> Let's try this out once again. It's really not that hard, uh, even though I just died right now. It's basically just based on patience and perseverance. <laughs> but you want to make sure you don't die on this course multiple times because it will actually get harder progressively because you will be failing and failing and failing and you'll begin to lose your patience over and over and over again. And then you will begin to make mistakes at the easiest part of the entire obstacle course and you won't be able to go past this area. <laughs> So make sure to keep her cool while doing this obstacle course. Also, another tip is when doing the jumps, make sure to do little baby jumps. Do not press the control button under no reason, because that is going to fling you right into the next lava, uh, lava wall. <laughs> you also don't want to be greedy. If you see a chance like this, if you see a chance and you think you can make it, don't do it, all right? Don't do it. It's not worth it, all right? Just wait. And if you miss it, who cares? You need to do it again. This one is the water maze, which uh, if you do not, Go into the water immediately, you will just fall into the lava. <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just skip back to there. Okay. Alright, right to the water maze. Uh, this is actually the easiest part. I, I kind of failed because I was panicking. Don't worry about it. Let's go right into the water. Are you serious? Alright, we're good. We did fall in the lava, but we survived. Anyways, when doing this lava water maze, you want to make sure you see every single corner or every single exit. Because if you don't complete this maze in time, you will lose a lot of health from drowning. And also, you want to make sure you do not press the control key because then you'll swim and that will be a problem. This one is called the TNT jump where you have to not get hurt by TNT like I just did uh well I pretty much lost we are now on to the mystery maze basically you will have a trail that you need to follow and if you don't this will happen to you and we are back but I will not be giving out how to do this maze because you know it's not really that hard and I don't really want to spoil it there's also that course right over there right after the mystery maze is the find the button where you will have to go into the room and you have less than 10 seconds to find the button or you will just die in the lava also skip over as well because you know no fun knowing where it is so we'll be skipping to the cactus parkour in three two one we are now onto the cactus parkour now you want to make sure you have a full health bar because this will take a lot of damage if you have less than three hearts you will die on this course so let's try to do this course right now first try we are doing fantastic but if you're a gamer you could get hit and go on top of these fences but i am not a gamer and i'm instead very bad at this game and i fell down into the lava we are now back to the cactus parkour let's try this again what you want to do is make sure you make this jump this jump is probably the hardest out of the cactus parkour because you need to do this one block jump this two block jump oh it's very simple for me because you know i'm actually the best player in the world but you know for you know noobs out there you want to make sure you don't fail that one. We are now on to the trident throw, which is arguably the second hardest obstacle in this obstacle course. So, what you need to do is you need to walk in over, over this uh, pressure plate, and you will get a trident from up here, and you will have to go a certain measurement, which I will not show. <laughs> the only tip I'll be giving is make sure you're on the bottom of the water, and you aim right in the middle of this target. We are now done with the uh, the uh, trident throw. I literally did it in first try, but uh, it will definitely take you guys at least five to six tries to complete the trident throw. Or if you're me, it took me over 20 tries. <laughs> we are now on to the hardest part of this entire obstacle course, the honey parkour. A good tip I can tell you is that you need to jump super high onto the, at least the first pillar, because when you get that advantage, you'll be able to slide down the honey parkour smoothly and with no trouble like this. But if you hit the wall, you will just die. <laughs> Alright, we are now back to the honey parkour. As I said, we need to go at least the highest points of this one pillar of honey in order to slide down into that two block area. Okay, and I failed. Uh, you, if you hit the wall at least once, you will instantly fail. This is our third attempt. Let's see how we do. 
Oh, and we got it in. Oh, but you want to make sure you don't not, you know, be too happy because if you go into this water, you will instantly die. <laughs> This one is called the Dolphin Dive because you need to stay at the bottom part of this water, which is not too hard if you're a pro gamer. I'll show you right now. You want to make sure you use these magma cubes as checkpoints so you don't uh, fly right into the lava. Same here. Oh, and when you reach this, when you reach this area, this is called Guess That Song. Now I will not be showing this in the video, just like the mystery maze and the find the button, because this is gonna spoil what the answer is. So I'll be skipping right to the boss in three, two, one. All right, we are now done with the Guess the Song. I will now be reading these signs right here. Thank you for playing my obstacle of course. Uh, thank you, Sandal, for making it. If you enjoyed it, share it to a friend to see if they can win. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a good idea. Make sure to subscribe to Sandal and enjoy the boss. Dang, this guy's a this guy's speaking facts. This guy's a genius. Absolute genius. Alright, when you are here, make sure to set your bed here. When you open this chest, you will be enabled keep inventory and you will get a set of armor and bow and 16 golden apples. Alright, I'm guessing you guys are all waiting for it. We're gonna start the boss fight in three, two, one. As soon as we got this armor and this bow, we'll be flung with a bunch of projectiles. You will oh, from here you will jump over to here. Oh, and by the way, you cannot turn off this thing. Uh, this thing has a kill switch, so it's automatically on until you beat the boss. So you want to make sure you hit this target on the top of his head while getting hit by these fire projectiles. Luckily, you have the Pharaoh's armor, which will help you not to die instantly, and these golden apples. What you need to do is just make sure you don't fall off. Ooh, okay, we're almost nearly halfway on his health bar. We're good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good. Please. Okay, 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 okay. Let me eat. All right, almost there. Okay, and we are done. All right, we've officially somewhat beating the boss, not entirely. I cannot show what happens after I kill the boss, after one health, because that will spoil what would happen next. And also I need to download this world so I can't really ruin it right now. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to try out this uh, this map, make sure to look that down in the description below and click on the link to my Google Drive and you can download this map for yourself. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.